really, really regretting doing this tonight. Uh, we've been working around the clock trying to get corn harvest figured out. It's been stressful. It's been stressful for Mark, stressful for me. However, it's a rainy day. It's actually late in the day. We did corn all morning today. The dryer's full and it's raining. So I'm going to take advantage of this afternoon to start cleaning out these pens and preparing for my next lambing group. These are the ones that I just weaned. I'm going to swap pens with the ones that are sheared over there and they're going to be reunited with the rest of their gang at the back here. I'm going to clean this all out and this is predominantly where they're going to lamb. I was thinking about maybe using some of this pen too, but we're going to see. Either way, I'm going to clean out this pen today and I'm hoping, planning to clean out that pen tomorrow. So it's a two day clean out. All next week, I just want to get everything organized for my next lambing group, which will be the week after that. So the stuff we need to uh, clean out the pen is my bobcat that gets used for everything. Uh, we also have this grapple bucket here and it is amazing with sheep pack because the thing the thing about sheep manure, it is really packed hard. So this is maybe not the best spot, but in where they are, they're like little hammers. So their little feet, they just pack every square inch. Uh, so the whole pack, as it just keeps layering on, layering on, it just gets harder and harder and harder. So that grapple is the only thing that really gets a good grip of that manure and pulls, pulls it out nice. So I will take the grapple and clean out this whole pen. And then what I'll do is I'll come back after with the bucket and clean up all the edges around the water bowls, along the feeder. And then whatever's left after that, I grab actually just with my scraper. So first of all, I'm going to move some sheep around. These guys are going to go in the center alley. The guys at the back, I'm just going to put at the back of this pen. These guys are going to stay. And then at the end, when I'm all done, these guys are going to swap pens with that pen. So we're going to get started now and it'll be dark when we're done. Ridiculous. Surprise footage. Hi.
try and do this with <laughs> I'm literally holding this tripod with my legs. Alright. So here we go. I kinda do one side and grapple. Squeeze it, lift it. Get kind of a scoop. likely stay here till oh who knows the spring hopefully um, we don't spread on snow so this is kind of where it'll have to go until we can find somewhere to either stockpile it or spread it in the spring when the conditions are conducive so there you go that's kind of what you see from the tractor seat Got the, uh, I've got the rough kind of taken out, but right now I'm going backwards because to get the water bowls cleaned out, I have to come in at the pen backwards to take out all the manure that's tucked in behind it. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm gonna look in my, this is like a rear view. That's pretty sweet. I am pretty infamous for hitting gates and whatnot. Because by the, I get tired doing this, and I should not have started this job today because I have had very little sleep. But knock on wood, so far I haven't wrecked anything. I think I'm in a daze. Okay, here we go. So I'll show you. Okay, so this is how I have to come at the. Okay, enough. This is how I, I have to come at the water bowl. I got that side of it because that's the way I come in, but to get the back end, I have to come in backwards. up all the sides all the stuff I can't get with the grapple without like killing gates or pushing in my manger so I will show you how that's done
Okay, the rest I gotta do by hand. So I might as well bring you with me <clears throat> and I'll talk a little, I'll talk and work at the same time because uh, people have asked me questions on clean out, how often do I do it, all these questions. So I am going to scrape and talk at the same time. I clean this side of the barn out every single time I lamb. So this part of the barn, this south side of the barn, so this pen and that pen, those usually get done four times a year, so every three months. The far side, over yonder, those get done two, two times a year for sure, and if it's a good year, three times a year. Uh, and it all kind of depends on litter amounts. We These pens fill up a lot more because I bed them a lot more when they have lamps. So that's kind of when I clean out the barn. I bed with straw because we grow wheat and straw is the byproduct of wheat. So I don't use shavings. Uh, Mark doesn't like the carbon, carbon nitrogen, carbon nitrogen ratio. I think that's what he said. And we have the straw so we use it. The trick with the animals is good ventilation keeping them dry as much as possible. And I always like to keep this pack cleaned before every lambing because every ewe in this barn will will have their own little unique bugs and it's their placenta and any afterbirth that's in this litter, uh, I don't want it at all touching the new crop of lambs. Just to keep diseases kind of at bay. Do I use lime? I've used lime in the past. Uh, I haven't used it in a long time. That would probably help with dryness, but I don't find my packets too wet. Flies haven't really been an issue for a few years. I don't know if it's luck or just the amount of times I'm cleaning the barn or maybe when I'm cleaning the barn is helping. I'm not really sure. Stuff is so packed down. Because it's steel and it's a little easier to get under the manure. It's like sticky, sticky, packed in manure. Really, really regretting doing this tonight. I'm really tired. scraped up now I'm gonna just take the bucket and scrape it to the pile and pick it up and get rid of it I thought I got most of it apparently not Okay, it is clean. I'm just going to finish scraping off the pad a little bit and just making that nice. And I'm gonna grab a couple bales of straw. And what I do with the straw is I just actually lay out the slices and the ewes will come in and run around and they'll spread it out. Between rooting around and running around, they'll get it all spread out nice, kind of like them, because I bedded those guys this morning.
the radio. You can tell where the feed they like is, back there. So now they're all cleaned out. There's not much left to do uh, really before they lamb, except for preparing all my, my lambing kit, the claiming jug. This is kind of the last thing before lambing. Nothing like uh, putting my sheep to bed when it's one of those days that uh, I wish they would put me to bed. I'm signing off. They can enjoy their night, I'm gonna enjoy my night. You guys enjoy your night. Take care, thanks for watching.